chapter 1, verse 3. Dear brothers and sisters, we can't help but thank God for you. And as we're here with this family, an extended family, I, I can't help but thank God for every one of you. Um, if you've been a part of the experience for more than a couple of weeks, you know this is a strange place to be. And that's a good strange. Um, Jocelyn, this way. Here you go. My baby's looking for her mommy and daddy. Um, his mommy. Mommy went. But this, the experience family is, it always will be a dream. The dream of a place where people can come and be real, but not just that, where people's lives can be transformed. And that's the next part that Paul talks about. Because your faith is flourishing and your love for one another is growing. We proudly tell God's other churches about your endurance and faithfulness and all the persecution and hardships you are suffering. Amen. I'm proud of this family. I'm proud of this this group of people because of the life transition that they are allowing God to do. We talk a lot about openness and vulnerability and honesty and authenticity, but it's with an end in sight, and that is transformation. New life, and as I walk around among these tables and try to fend you off from, can we be next? Apparently there is a certain level of selfishness that we need to work on. Um, I look at lives that are not what they used to be. I see lives that are not who they were a year ago, a month ago, two years ago, six months ago. And I thank God for that. Because you can take everything else away, but at the bottom, in the end, it's relationships that are important. Relationships are what make the difference. You can have nothing and be rich if you have relationships. And you can have everything and be really, really poor if you don't. So this week, as you have Thanksgiving, thank each other for the relationships, for your friendships and your family. Value them. Treasure them. They're God's greatest gift. And thank God every day for the people that God's put in your life. So thank you all for being this big, huge, crazy family. If you're visiting, please come back. Um, hopefully we haven't scared you too much tonight. Um, or, you know, you just fainted when he's so rude, I've never coming back, you wouldn't let me go eat. Uh, thank you, see, yeah, you didn't pay me enough, obviously. Um, anyways, thank you all so much for coming tonight, and um, for being this amazing family that I see God working in. It's passionate about reaching out and making a difference in people's lives. So with that thankful heart, go get second.